Hey there, welcome back to another PSP tutorial for Voltage Modular. In this video, we'll be talking about how to use the PSP modules as effects in your mixes. The PSP Ultimate Modular Collection comes with a ton of different modules to expand your patch design possibilities inside of Voltage Modular, but some of my personal favorites are actually the effect modules, because these were adapted from PSP N2O, which was formerly known as PSP Nitro, which is actually one of my other favorite PSP effects. The really cool thing about the PSP modules for Voltage Modular, though, is that it's essentially an upgraded version of N2O because it's fully modular and there's really no restriction on how or why you can go about doing things. So let's dive in and take a look at using some of these effects in the mix. For this example session here today, I've got a track called Flames from The Black Crown, and you can actually download these stems and multi-tracks to play with yourself if you want to follow along. We're going to skip ahead to the chorus segment here and take a listen to the vocals, and then we're going to bring in the vocal effects and break down how they were made. Now let's go back, I'm going to bring in these vocal sends here and we'll take another listen. So that is what we're going to be breaking down here today. So let's take a look at these vocals in isolation. Let's give this another play here and skip right into the chorus. Beyond the bodies of Black Cross, shine like a thousand suns. The spell the frozen lake reflect the seven flames and orbs of the barrel will take shape. Now these effects are a little loud and obvious, but that's just for the sake of this tutorial here. Let's take a look at this first send because this is the most complicated one and I think the most interesting. In case you didn't know, Voltage Modular comes with another plugin called Voltage Modular FX, and that's what I've used here on a send track. How this works is we have the audio sources here, which is the incoming audio, so the audio we're sending into our send track, and then we have the main output. So if we actually just wire this directly out here like so, let's unconnect these, this will actually just be a clean copy of the signal coming back out. Beyond the bodies of Black Cross. So with that, we can wire this through a bunch of different modules and do whatever we want to them to create a send effect. So now we'll just go back here, wire the output back to the output, and we've got our send. Beyond the bodies of Black Cross. Now, there are a ton of different PSP modules to explore for Voltage Modular inside of the Ultimate Modular Collection, but I've used just a handful here to create kind of a custom swirling delay effect. This track has kind of a trippy abstract theme, so I figured it needed a delay, as you would normally put on a vocal, but something with a bit of a twist that had that kind of trippy abstract feel to it. Once I added voltage modular effects to that send track, I just sent the signal into it and I started things off with the PSP Delay EX here. And this is actually one of my favorite PSP modules for voltage modular because it's a delay effect, as you would expect, but it actually allows you to insert whatever you want inside of the return path. So you can actually put in things like pitch shifters or bit crushers and have every echo of the delay become more and more affected. So what I've done here is start off with a really basic delay. If I turn off the insert effects here, it's just going to go through and I've got a dotted eighth note delay. Beyond the bodies of Black Cross, shine like I enabled the ping pong here by turning that up all the way and I mix this at 100% because it's on a send so we don't need any of that dry signal and then just ran that out here into a PSP plate. Without the plate, it's actually just a standard delay. Beyond the bodies of Black Cross. But to give these vocals that big, larger than live sound, I just wanted a little bit of reverb. So I used a relatively long plate reverb here. Beyond the bodies of Black Cross. 
So that creates something just a little bit more interesting and it makes the delay taps feel a bit more substantial and expansive because it's also got that stereo information, but then we've got these kind of delaying trails from the reverb and it just feels really, really big. But the magic of this comes from the insert section here. Within the insert section, I set the mode to all. So there's different loop locations that we can insert the effects to. We can insert this for the first tap, all taps, or only in the feedback path. So I wanted this to be on all of them just to create this moving, swirling effect, but you can experiment with the different settings to see what you like best. To enable this, we just click the in button here. This enables the inserts. So I set out the send. First up, that feeds into a nitro state variable filter here. I've actually got this moving around quite a bit, and this is all coming from PSP Nitro LFO. So what I did is actually send out A and B. First, A goes out to the frequency of filter A, and then B is going out to the morph control, which blends between the two different filters. In order to make this a bit more interesting, I also use the offset knob. So you'll see Nitro LFO here has two different sine waves that are slightly offset, and that's how I'm creating this swirling, evolving movement that doesn't sound too repetitive, even though it is the same cycles. Since it's offset, it just feels kind of moving and flowing and evolving. To spice this up, I also brought in a second Nitro LFO down here, this is targeting the phaser, which we'll talk about in a minute, but output B of this is also targeting the frequency of filter B. So if you take a look at this state variable filter module here, you'll see that these filters are just moving and morphing and twisting constantly, and it's never quite the same. So this is a really great way to create this super trippy moving vocal effect. I set up a bandpass filter here just to create kind of a narrow telephone sweeping effect, but then I morph into a high pass filter because we can set the different filter modes here. This just created this interesting telephone swirling mid-range delay, but also had this nice bright high-end wash in occasionally, which combined with the reverb provides this nice kind of blooming effect to the whole delay send. Other than that, I tweaked the resonance slightly just to make things sound a bit more interesting and used a 24 decibel per octave slope. Then I sent that out into PSP Nitro Phaser here because this was already kind of a super trippy swirling thing, but I wanted to push that a little bit further and I wanted to add a phaser. So Nitro Phaser here is pretty straightforward. I just set the order to 10. We can increase this all the way up to 32, which gets really, really weird. So 10 wasn't enough for just a subtle phasing effect. Then I use the second Nitro LFO output A to target the frequency. That way the phaser is just gonna move around and I wanted it to be relatively slow and then adjusted the depth to taste. If it goes too high, it becomes really beyond the bodies of black rock really kind of weird and over-exaggerated, so I found a depth of about 60 to 70% worked well. Beyond the bodies of Black Cross. And that is really as simple as it gets. You can create some really insane, wild effects using this kind of stuff, and the Delay EX opens up a lot of interesting opportunities to create a kind of one-of-a-kind delay effect for your track, which is a lot of fun to explore. And that's really all there is to it for that swirling, modulated, moving vocal delay send. I've also used the PSP modules in a couple other places in this mix, but we'll be covering that in part two of this video coming your way very soon. And that wraps everything up for this video. The PSP Ultimate Modular Collection for Voltage Modular is available right now. If you want to check it out for yourself, you can find more information with the link down in the description. For more information on PSP AudioWare and all of their other plugins, you can head over to PSPAudioWare.com. And as always, thanks for watching.